there's Zephyr 4 looking nice and trim and we're in Southampton Town Quay Marina quite small very very nice we've had a lovely time here uh, the staff have been been great we had a fairly rumbustuous sail from Gosport yesterday and we met all the youngsters on Eastern Star which is a, a boat from the Morning Star Trust lots of teenagers experiencing sailing some for the first time. The following morning we left the marina with a northerly wind blowing us down Southampton water. We're headed for Poole where we intend to spend a night at anchor. We're currently at the uh, Town Quay Marina and making our way down Southampton water past Hythe and eventually we'll get to Calshot Spit, which is here. We're zipping along here, just with the mainsail up at the moment, and this is Hythe Marina over there. And you get to it through this line of piles here, into a lock and then uh, they let you in. Looking further on, that's Hythe Pier where you can catch a ferry to Southampton Town Quay. The pier was opened in 1881. It's quite long at 640 metres. An electric railway was added in 1922 and is still running with the original rolling stock. down the uh, starboard side of the main shipping channel out towards Calshot and uh, you can see why uh, we would need to do that because this great monster is coming along behind us. To starboard we've got the loading berths for the tankers for SOL refinery and there's you can see a couple of container ships about to pass each other, one going out and the other one coming into Southampton. It's quite a busy port this. We're right round Cowshot Spit now, heading west and eventually go past uh, Livington and Yarmouth and out through Hurst Castle, past Hurst Castle and then up the North Channel. Bill's down below getting some soup and we're doing 7.2, 7.3 knots and uh, rapidly approaching leap. Wind pretty much on the beam. What could be better? Perfect sailing conditions. Apart from the fact it's not sunny. If it was sunny it would be truly wonderful. This is Tenacious, one of the Clip Around the World race uh, boats with a, a learning crew on it by the look of it. We're all having a lecture as we uh, as we are overtaking them. It's making us feel good though to be overtaking a boat this long. There's the green boy which is the North Channel boy. Once we've gone past that then we can bear away and head out towards Pool. We're having a great sail. Uh, 17, 18 knots of wind, we're doing over 7 knots all the time. We're just coming up to Hengersbury Head and uh, sliding past gently. The wind's dropped away, which is not, uh, not so bad. And we've got a bit of blue sky, look. It's 
really much, much nicer. It's been very grey and overcast and somewhat forbidding most of the day. But this is really rather pleasant. We were doing uh, seven plus knots, even eight at one stage, but we're down to uh, six and a half at the moment in just uh, sort of 12, 13 knots of wind. Uh, quite, gen quite gentle now. There we are, 7.3 through the water, and Bill and I are uh, having ham sandwiches. Just going down through the moorings at the back of Brown Sea Island. We're going to anchor here and get a night's sleep. Tomorrow we sail back and the forecast is for really quite strong winds. Check out the next video for that. Thank you.